Good morning, friends. How are you this morning? <laughs> it's a cold day out today. We were supposed to get like two to five inches of snow this today, I heard, so hopefully that's wrong. Um, it's really too early for snow. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. Um, excuse me. <coughs> While I wait for everybody to log on, um, just gonna try and find myself on my Facebook page. <laughs> if you're there, say hi. And um, anyone who comments will be put into the drawing for the card today. So, and uh, it's a beautiful card. So, I'm trying to find myself. Let's see. I'm not sure why I have such a hard time finding my live feed on my tablet. So I do know I need, need to do one thing. It's, well, nobody ever calls me, so I'm not going to worry about silencing my phone. Anyway, um, just a couple things before we get started. Um, uh, paper pumpkin pie. I'm still doing that via Zoom. So that will be next Monday, um, October 26th at 7.30. And this week, um, let's see, sign up for the, I'll be posting something for the sign up for the um, monthly card class for November via Zoom and the card class date is November 14th at 10 o'clock and I'll I'll be posting something um, on Facebook on this group page and also sending it out via email for those who don't have, have Facebook and if you'd like email in addition to what's on the um, Facebook live here um, just send me an email to cottagelanestamper at gmail.com and I'll add you to my my email list so and then November 20th we'll be doing bingo again via zoom and I have another event that I'm thinking about so stay tuned for that I'll be posting that on on Facebook also so and if you want to be on that email list I'll be sending out all this information I'm just gonna do a newsletter I think and email it out so if you want to be on that mailing list um, send me an email and we'll make sure we get done with that so anyway let's see if I can still find myself on my Facebook page on my tablet I'm gonna go back in and I don't know why this is so difficult It's just, it's like a delay, and then I'm going to go back out, come back in, and maybe it'll show up. The only reason I like to do it is because um, I like to be able to see where my phone is actually uh, centered, but I guess it's not going to happen. So, the card class will be featuring... Um, the poinsettia uh, petals bundle or you can just do the stamp set so this is a stamp set and actually we're going to be using this the stamp set or this bundle part of this bundle today and these are the dies that go with it oh I've got a few of them that are not on here I'm just gonna pop you down and so you can see better so anyway make sure you leave a comment if you're watching so I can say hi and if I don't see your comment um, while I'm doing the card I'll, ref I'll uh, make sure to reply to everybody later on so anyway I hope I'm 
just see where my phone is. There, I think that's good. <clears throat> anyway, like I said, we're going to be featuring the Plains Out of Petals bundle. And these are some of the dyes that are in the bundle. Um, I actually, I do a photo and stick it in here so I know if anything is missing from the set. So these are all the dyes that are in there. We're going to be using a few of these today. So, <clears throat> and I'll show you what else is in the bundle here. Let's see. This is the DSP, that, or in the suite, I should say. This is the DSP that is in the suite. And it's got some beautiful pine cones. And I believe the dies out here again. And one of the dies fits the DSP. Must be on this one. Yep. So you can I'm not sure which one it is, but there it is. So you can die cut some of the D the um planes out is from the DSP. So and that's got a beautiful pattern on the other side. And this is another nice one with holly. And a beautiful bag, and you can use this all year round. And some more points of this, and another pattern you can use all year round. And actually, we'll be using a pattern similar to this pattern today, but in a different form. And then there's the berries, and I love the berries. And then there's a the wood grain on the back. And one of these dies does cut the berries too so if you wanted to die cut the berries you can do that I love it when they do that I absolutely love it so and here's some pine cones and some evergreen branches so that is in the suite and I should show you the here's the in the catalog it's on page 15 and this is everything that is in this suite. So I just showed you this. Let me show you this next. So this is the um, vellum. We're going to be using this in our card today. It's a plush vellum. And then there's one with holly leaves on it. And the berries. And the holly leaves. That we're going to be using. <laughs> I can get them out. I have my little basket, so I have everything sitting right here. So, I'm um, not sure if you can see that. I this over here. It must be the smaller one. There's two different size holly leaves. Here's the other one. Oops, sorry. So, this one will die cut the holly leaves too, which I just, I love that. It's excellent. <coughs> and then there is another plush vellum that will also you will also be able to die cut um, the leaves from this with this with this die. So I'm not sure which one it is, but you'll be able to figure it out really easy. And it also has some little tiny poinsettias, a larger poinsettia. This one is for um, the, um, I believe the, the branch right here, the die cut that. And there's these two little ones. This one die cuts, and this one does an embossing. So, um, let's put those in there. Put that one there, just to make more space on here. So. Anyway, we're going to be using all of the rest of the um, dies today in this bundle. And we'll get started here. I love this card. I have to tell you that um, when I saw this suite or what we're going to be using today, this is another thing that's in the catalog. It's not part of the suite, but it is red velvet cardstock. 
and this is the card we're going to be making today. And when I knew I saw this vellum and this sweet, I knew I wanted to make a poinsettia card like that. I just think it's stunning. And you notice it's all die cutting. There's no stamping at all. So I forgot to get my big shot. So give me a second and I'm going to get it here. <coughs> I'm sorry for not being better prepared. I, um, I've been dealing with some insomnia lately, so I did sleep in a little bit and got a little bit behind me today. So, anyway, this is the card we're going to be making. And this sheer ribbon is also from the suite. And we're going to be using some of these gorgeous beaded pearls from the suite. So the only thing that's not in the suite is this red velvet paint on the paper. And I'll tell you what page it's on a second here. You get two sheets of it and it's on page 63 of the catalog. Two sheets for six dollars. So anyway, I just I love this card actually. And we're going to be using a little bit of vellum. So, let's start off with the card. Oops, we're going to need some real red card stock. And we're going to cut that. That is going to be cut four, actually five and a quarter, Oops, five and a half, five and a quarter. By mm -hmm. four. And I'll have all the, the supplies and the dimensions on my blog later. Um, cottage lane stamper blogspot com, and we're going to cut out about the same from here. Let me cut this off, and you can see how much it took to die cut them. So I'm just going to die cut them out of this section here, and then we are going to use this, this vellum. And that is going to be cut that out of the way, for the same size as the red card stock. Four by five and a quarter. And it's not difficult to, to cut at all. So, and is that all for cutting? Right now, I believe so. Oh, we're going to need some mossy metal. We'll grab a piece of that. And I just use scraps so, um, for this. And I think that's it in our vellum. Yep, that's it. So, oh, and a piece of whisper white a little die cut and a little cut a piece of that for our card base 
so you take a half if you never cut before um, you just cut it in half it's eight and a half by eleven and you cut it at five and a half and then you score it at four and a quarter which is half of the eight and a half of course and then I love to use my bone folder so I get a nice sharp crease now let me see if you're doing whisper white or vanilla the valley or the groove goes to the outside if you're doing colored cardstock the valley goes to the inside and it's just the way the paper is made um, so if you ever use the copier I remember um when we had an old copier back in the 80s we had to shake out the paper and see which which way it curled to see which way to put it in the copy machine. So, and then we're going to take our real red and find my glue dots here. Okay. I'm going to put glue dots on here so the adhesive doesn't show through on the other side. And I'm just going to do them in the corner. And I wish my Facebook page would refresh so that I can find myself here so I can actually see what's going on. This is the only, here we go, I finally got it. All right, so I need to my phone a little bit like that because all you're seeing is my lap. Okay. Put this on here. And if you wanted to, you could actually, let's see, did I get a glue that to, You could take a little bit of um, your Stampin' Seal and put it in the middle, wrong one. Let's see. Because this is going to be covered up. There. Oops. Get a little off kilter here. Try to match up the corners, opposite corners, so there, that's pretty good. And then we're gonna adhere this to the um oops. First we're gonna take some ribbon and I'd say about five inches. And I like to put my stamp and seal on the back first. Sometimes I have to get it started. And I'm just going to take this and wrap it around like this. Get my fabric ribbon shears. And then take another piece about, I don't know, three or four inches. And actually I'm going to put this on my card base right now. Because otherwise I'll turn this over and it will stick to my paper that I've got down here to this. So then I just like to take my ribbon and tie a little bow around it and then you can trim it off a little bit. I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to set that aside. And now we're going to do our die cutting, and I love, I love these dies. Um, here's a tip on using these. So here are all the dies that we're going to use today. Excuse me. <coughs> uh, seasonal stuff. When you get the dies, and they'll be on your um, cardboard. Mm -hmm. 
they do have to go into a certain way. So what I've done is I've marked them. So which um, corner goes with which. And I love that these are layered, that they're two different sizes, so you can layer them like this, because I've cut a, a bigger one and a smaller one for the middle. So, and the same with the um, holly leaves. So I'm going to set those aside right now, and I'm going to bring my big shot in. small working area so <laughs> get these out of the way here make sure it's on the table good so and if you're new to paper crafting um I know the first time I got my plates and I cut on them and they made marks I just about died I was so upset but you know what, it's the way it is, it's the way it's supposed to be. Anyway, and when mine curve, I just flip them over to the other side. So we're gonna cut. Two of each of these. And now you can see why I mark these. And then I try, cause I forgot to mention these little pieces here, they emboss. So you get that beautiful point that'll look with these. There. And then if these start curving, I just flip it over. Those are absolutely gorgeous. I just love that. Absolutely beautiful. So we'll set those two aside. And then we're going to cut two more. I like to maximize my cardstock as much as possible. So I try to get them as close as possible to each other. Oh. It must be the Dutch in me. I don't know. Just a hair. There. I had another poinsettia set that I bought a few years ago, and actually, if it hasn't sold, I'm selling it on Facebook. Um, because I love this set so much better. So I love poinsettias. So there, and that's the red velvet paper. So we're done with that. And now we're gonna take our vellum. And let's see. Did I have my dies laying here yet? Put them over here where I can get at them. So we're gonna cut three. And this piece of paper is about, I don't know, let me measure here. One, two, three, about four inches. Four by two and a quarter, I'd say. Like I said, all the mention all the measurements will be on my blog and the supplies, so. Hear that cracking noise? Don't worry about it. But I think I'm gonna try something different. The tip I gave you last week. 
So if you go lengthwise, usually you don't get as much cracking. See that? on there so um, if you're watching I'd love to hear what you're thinking so far like I said anyone who comments will be put in the drawing for this card now this card I should say too with the beading on it it would be a card that you probably would want to put hand deliver or maybe um, Put some bubble wrap or something over the top because when it goes through the mail you might have to put extra postage on because it's a little bit thicker but the beads will poke through the, the envelope so and now we're going to cut our holly leaves and let's see what did I, I cut four of them so like I said, I use my scraps for this stuff. And I also mark the holly leaves because they do um, actually go into in a certain way too. And I like to use removable tape to hold my things in place. So, And this is probably about a five inch piece of cardstock, five by two and a half, three inches. And these flat pieces here in the middle also emboss so try not to get that in there i love that they started doing this embossing now this will probably crack oh didn't good and let's move you over a little bit And I think we are done die cutting. Like I said, this card is there's no stamping, it's all die cutting and once you get all the die cutting done, it's pretty quick, so it goes pretty fast. I just like to put this on here <laughs> so I have it ready for next time. Let's see. Put my other plate in here so they don't slip and slide and get out of here. There. So now we have this and we have all of our beautiful pieces. And lady with children's needs a sip of water if you've never heard of children's before it's an autoimmune disease and it causes dry eyes and um, dry mouth dry everything <laughs> so now we're gonna use glue dots and we're gonna take our and settle these and just use our bone folder and give them a bit of a curl just add a little bit more dimension to them a little bit more life <coughs> excuse me <coughs> and anybody out there love the poinsettias I just they're so beautiful my um, late husband and I I won't tell you the whole story but we get married quite suddenly um, before he had to find out, before he found out he got, had to have a surgery for his cancer. And we found out like December, oh, what was it around the 29th of December, we found out he was going to have surgery on January 4th. 
and we just got engaged and um, we called around to find out if there was a church available and he wanted to get married before we before he had surgery and so we called three different churches in our hometown and one finally had a pastor that was available and uh, so we called up some close family that lived in town and said be at the church tomorrow and actually we called my parents too they lived a couple hundred miles away and said be at the church tomorrow called our kids and said we're getting married and um, <laughs> got married on January 1st and then sadly he passed away five months later with cancer so Anyway, now I'm curling my ivy, or my holly. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. I just, I hate that. So I'm going to take a glue dot. Or you can use a couple of them, actually, just to make sure that they're secured. And I'm going to put this here. Mm -hmm. And then another one here. Then we're going to take the holly leaves. And I'm never really sure which one. There's one that's a little bit more pointed than the other. So I'm going to go with the pointy end underneath. And stick that here. Oops, I need another glue dot. That one didn't stick. there and stick you there. I'm going to make sure that it's going to fit in the envelope so I'm going to tuck it in a little bit different. There we go. And that one will be fine. And that one there. See how quickly this goes together. It looks like it's it's really intimidating, but it's very it's pretty simple. I mean, basically all you're doing is die cutting. So if you're a beginner, don't be intimidated by this. And now we're just gonna stick one of these here, tuck that under, and one of these over here. I'm just getting glue dots. Oh, got it stuck to my finger. And then this one here. Tuck that in there. And oops, we can't forget our beautiful beads. So, and I just used the glue dot for those too. And just, just by adding that, doesn't that make it stunning? I just, I just love this card. And when I saw this red velvet paper and this these poinsettias I knew that this is why I wanted to make red velvet poinsettias and there you have it I should turn it around sorry and here's the original so if you love this card and would like to get a get one in the mail I'll probably be sending it with a bubble wrapper um, just because of the the beading so I'll be drawing names tonight at 8 o'clock for anyone who comments. I'm gonna be, they'll be put into a drawing for this card. So um, like I said, all of my, um, all the dimensions and everything will be on my blog, cottagelanestamper.blogspot.com. And that'll be posted today. And a uh, reminder again about um, sign up. Oh, for this week, we'll, for uh, the November 14th um, monthly class, where we'll be featuring uh, mm -hmm. the Poinsettia petal stamp set. So you'll have two options, the stamp set and the card kits for $40, and the um, bundle, which will be the dies, 
and the stamp set and the credit kit for $70. So um, I'll be paying postage and tax on that. So anyway, thanks again for stopping in. I hope you enjoyed this and um, I hope you leave a comment. If there's anything you ever want to see, let me know, like a technique or something. Um, fun fold. If I don't know it, I'll learn it and we'll, we'll do it together. So anyway, I guess. I always forget about this. Um, let me back up a little bit so I'm not just in your face. So anyway, thanks again for stopping in. I appreciate it. And um, take care and God bless you. And I hope you don't get a lot of snow tonight. So bye.